So it's really frightening. There are a lot of homes here. We simply don't know what this fire will do. We've experienced some extreme fire behavior on fire. What makes a firefighter? Grit and courage forged while face to face with flames. But before they can fight these fires, they must learn all they can about them. Foremost, we want to be safe. This is the Arizona Wildfire Academy, where new recruits learn the basics and veterans get new skills. Line back out and then we'll get started again. It was born in the aftermath of the Rodeo Chetiskai fire in 2002. At the time, that was the largest fire in state history burning 730 square miles, destroying more than 400 buildings. It was national news for a month. This fire is so huge that it has many personalities, and some of them are not so nice. Firefighters came from other states to help, but when the fire was out, officials realized they needed a national set of methods and practices to fight wildfires. Now in its 16th year, this academy has one of its largest classes, no, almost um, 900 students. How's everybody feeling today? Good. Any injuries we need to know about, anything like that? For a week at Embry-Riddle University in Prescott, students learn how fire behaves in certain environments, how the weather affects fires, safety procedures like deploying emergency shelters. We want to take what we've learned in the classroom for the last three days, and we, put, we want to put it in the dirt. After successfully completing the academy, students are ready to join a crew, but first they have to put their knowledge to test in the field. We all start right here. Join us next week when we follow these firefighters into the forest, where they have to see if they can do the work it takes to make it onto a wildland firefighting crew.